Hey, Brad, how's it going? It's going great. How about you? Not too bad. I can't complain, but you say it's going good. You're constantly busy. Do you do you ever have any downtime? You, I just read that you finished off the Frozen Over tour this past Saturday. Uh, the H2O2 tour kicks off May 28th. When do you have any downtime? Uh, you know what? I have a little more than you might think, but it doesn't look like it on paper. I, uh, <laughs> I really do actually uh, have more downtime than uh, than you think. I mean, when I'm when I'm not on stage, I, I'm probably at home. And uh, but it can I can understand why it looks like I'm a work, workaholic based on press releases and and stuff. You always take time for the family, and everybody knows that, but you also put so much into everything else. I mean, getting the CMA Entertainer of the Year, it just goes to show how much you do put into everything. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I, I think that when your name's on stuff, um, you know, like, the, like a marquee out front of a building or, a, or even better, an album, you got to be involved with it because the reviewer's not going not gonna to blame your producer. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's it's the like easy the way out. <laughs> yeah, it is. If the new Brad Paisley album isn't any good, they're not going to say Frank Rogers really blew it this time. Yeah, they're true. Gonna, they're going to say uh, they're going to say that I did, and and so it's really important that you're involved and that you're happy with stuff before you turn it in, and and uh, and that's why I get so involved in all this, and and it's fun too. I mean, it's not like my job is. I'm not, I'm not a dentist. I'm yeah. not one of these people that that does something that might be tedious and. And not fun. At its worst, this is still a really fun thing to do for a living. And you're always so extremely hands-on. I take it you're extremely excited about the H2O tour or the H2O2 tour. Oh, I really am. I love everything about what happened last year with H2O, the first one, and, and just everything about it worked well for fans. We had the the outdoor experience with the Water World and the new acts on the stage out there, and then great acts on my stage with Darius and. Uh, and Justin Moore, and, and this year we're sort of able to expand on that, knowing that it will all work, and the water world will be bigger than be- and better than ever, and the, uh, the same with uh, all of the, the stuff with production, and we're able to up the ante a little bit on, you know, what we're showing on our screens and what we spend on this a little, and that's kind of nice to be able to put on a show that people deserve to to, to get for the money they spend. And that's what I love, too, because there, there's not a lot of country shows that, that come to town and have the side stage going, too, because at Verizon Wireless Amphitheater in St. Louis, they've got a great side stage, but it's not always used for a lot of the country shows. And I love that you've kind of started that trend, and it, it's starting to catch on because it's so much fun. It, it's You'll be here, I think it's the 6th stop, June 17th, and it's going to be the middle of summer. It's going to be hot outside. People love to go to the concert early and get started early, start drinking early, and they get to do that now. Yeah, we we kind of learned that accidentally this last time in the sense that I, I said let's do a water world experience where they get to have a great time and you know, experience the outdoors and slip and slides and dunking booths and Chevy driving simulators and all these things. And what I didn't realize was that there would be that number of people come at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And I've always seen people tailgating, but what we had for some of these acts, I think in your town even, uh, I think we had something like six or 8,000 people standing out there listening to Josh Thompson and Easton Corbin and Steel Magnolia play on that side stage. That's that's a better audience than I ever had than I had on my fifth single. And well, then you well, always you pump it up one more step, and because uh, you actually joined Steel Mag on stage last year in St. Louis too. Oh, did I? Was that one of the towns? It was. I, yeah, I, it was here in St. Louis because um, I actually didn't get to make it to it, but everybody from the station was there, and they're like, "Yeah, you totally missed it." Brad was on the side stage, and I was so ticked off that I didn't make it to that concert. It was the only concert I missed all summer, and of course, it was the one that you got to join them on stage, and I was so mad. So this well, year, you know, this year you need to join either Brett Anderson, uh, Eden's Edge, or Sonny. Join one of them on stage just so I can see it. Hey, no problem. <laughs> I, I love that process because I, you know, at heart I'm a guitar player, and I, I don't, you know, I only got into the singing part of it because somebody asked me to. I, it, I essentially love playing guitar for people, and someday that's probably what I'll end up being full time. And I also read that you, uh, you now have a new pre-show warm-up before you get going around and around, because after you took the big spill last year, and you actually tweeted out the picture of the bruise, and it was oh just, yeah. that was disturbing in a way. <laughs> it's, really, it's really something. I mean, I ended up with a back problem from that, and, uh, and it may not have been entirely from that, but I ended up with a, 
a ruptured disc, which was not fun. And uh, and then now I, my pre-show ritual essentially consists of hardcore stretching before going out to make sure that I don't re-injure my back. And yeah. uh, But that's a small price to pay. And it's probably something I should have been doing all along. It's something that never happened. Because you used to jog before the show, don't you? I mean, you did that before. I, I used to do that, yeah. I don't do that as much now because jogging is not necessarily good for your back, but I still do a little bit, as much as I can get away with. But mostly now I just want to make sure I'm warmed up and and, and ready before I get out there. We don't, Yeah, we don't need another twit pic of the um, the nasty bruise again. That was a... Uh... No, yeah, but well, it was, so, was, it was interesting, though, but that's what I love. You don't mind sharing that with your fans. Um, yeah, no, I definitely... Uh, well, you know, it's like... I was proud of that bruise. I earned it. <laughs> it's, a, it's like a battle wound. Without a day, it's like, want to see my scar? <laughs> I love it. And then also, uh, everybody knows that you're known for your pranks. And with, with Brad and Jer- or Blake and Jared being on your tour, you you got to have something big in store for those two. Well, yeah, I don't know that I know what it is yet, but you can bel- you'll can see the you'll see the fallout from whatever we do to play. Well, first of all, it'll make Twitter for sure because it's between him and I. The uh, it'll probably be something that's talked about on CNN if we have our way. I think that that and if if I you know just might add my two cents, I say make it on the sixth stop of your tour, which happens to be St. Louis. Oh yeah, you know what? That's probably about the right timing. That's uh, because you early enough in it, but late enough in it to start. Because it's this is one of the shows. See, I, we have like eleven big shows coming to town this year. But every year, and I tell my wife every year too, I said, the, the one that I look forward to, and I'm not just saying this because I'm talking to you, is the Brad Paisley show for the fact that I, I'm, a, I'm a guitarist too, and I love watching you play guitar and just your energy on stage. It's so much fun. Can't wait for the album on May 24th. I mean, it's just perfect timing all around. It's going to be a great time. Uh, I, I agree. I, I really can't, I can't wait to, to get that out there, and I can't wait to get to your town. And We're going we're gonna to really, I think, up the ante this time from what we did last year. It's really, uh, it's a lot of fun for me at this point to be able to expand. You know? I'm excited, man. May 24th, This Is Country Music out in stores. You're going to be in town on June 17th, and we just we can't wait for you to be here, and you know, we'll see you then. Hopefully, maybe we'll be able to chat a little bit before then, but if not, we'll definitely see you at the, at the concert. Yeah, I hope so. And, uh, yeah, come hang out with me and, uh, and get yourself in the Duncan. I'm already told that I have to be in it, so um, maybe yeah, you can, if you come dunk me, we'll like we'll call it we'll call it even. I will. <laughs> Perfect, well, Brad. Well, thank you so much for uh, taking time out and, and chatting with us today. Thanks, buddy. Good. Have a good one. Bye. See ya.